All right, guys, it's time for a gear review for the new dive bombers, the Fairy Firefly 1771 NAS. All right, these bad boys right here. So I know a lot of people are going around saying these bombers are bad. And to keep matters of short, it's fair to think that way. I honestly think it's fair to think if you guys really don't like these dive bombers, it is a very, very valid um, um, belief for these things because they're not that great. They don't really excel at anything. They're just there. They're pretty much just there. But regardless, these things are completely worthless. Let's go ahead and talk about these things. So to start off, these bad boys, I got them to plus 10. At um, plus 10, the fire rate is 9. Um, well, I should unequip these. <laughs> let's not equip them onto uh, Implacable, but let's go ahead and unequip these and show them right here. So these things at plus 10, <clears throat> uh, fire rate of 10.8 seconds, aviation is 45. Armaments, uh, we have a 420 mm cannons, 86 damage, 0.85 on the second uh, reload. Uh, 36 anti-air range, 88 angle, whatever. Those things are like kind of whatever. This is the most important part, the bombs right here. The bombs. Um, two 1,000 pound bombs, 416 damage, 22 area of effect, pretty small, but whatever. Um, spread range, 33 by 33. That's actually really, really tight, so makes it more accurate. Very, very nice. It has a small area of effect, though, so I guess it kind of cancels out, but... 33 is actually pretty good. Armor mod 80, uh, not 80 on light, 95 on medium, and 155 on the heavy. So, across the board, I'll tell you guys right now, these things aren't these things aren't powerful. They're not meant to be powerful. If you want powerful bombs, you go Tenra, you go Sky Raiders, you go Hell Divers. Those are what you want for actual damage. I don't know where my other one is, but whatever. I think they're being equipped right now, so it is what it is. Um, but these things aren't meant for damage. They're not. Basically, in scenarios, the best way for me to explain uh, the usage of these things, so if we were to equip it on Implacable as of right now, if you guys really want to use these planes, you use them in pretty much scenarios where you want to run uh, Comets or Suisseis, the VTuber dive bombers, whatever you want to call them. Because the base form of a Suisse or a Comet <clears throat> is about 0.3 seconds faster than the Firefly. But these things have terrible damage. I've used them a lot. I even have two, the better ones, made at plus 12 for the repulse fight. These things are awful. Awful, awful, awful. So if you guys want like a little bit more um, damage for fast playing, um, Firefly can definitely kick these out. But that being said, <clears throat> if you guys were to go for speed, you better off going for the gear lab upgraded ones. These are much, much faster. This is 0.7 seconds faster compared to the Firefly. A lot better, but the damage still sucks, though. It's just much faster compared to the um, Firefly right here. But it's still, it, it's still terrible on damage. But if you want damage, you go this right here. So in scenarios where you want to run Comets or Suisei VTuber dive bombers is where you want to run the Fireflies, or at least similar examples. But even though it's like 0.7 seconds slower, which is a lot of time, it still should be okay. You should be able to get off the job just fine in the turn scenarios where you want to use Suisseis or VTubers. Now, that being said, as of right now, on top of my head, I can think of only one scenario where the Su uh, Suisse VTuber dive bombers was actually mandatory. And that was Repulse Meta Fight, because you had to get off four airstrikes to basically go through all those gimmicks Hence, that's probably the worst meta fight up to up to date so far. Absolutely horrendous fight. Uh, but that's the only fight as of right now where you have to use the Suisse dive bombers. Otherwise, you just can't get off enough damage in time to get rid of all the shields and mechanics and damage reduction that Repulse Meta had. So it's a rare scenario, and. Because of as a rare scenario, it doesn't make these dive bombers, the fairy firefly, any better. Because you want to use them for speed, and if there isn't much speed content for dive bombers, then it doesn't really matter, right? <clears throat> so, because of that, I can't really justify having these fireflies being really good. Because if you if you want to use actual good dive bombers, like you go del de hell divers, right? Like even the purple ones are better than these things right here. Is about one second slower, but has significantly more damage because of the 2,000 pound bombs. Are just it's just way better. 
but it is much faster because look at that it's like a literally a second and then you look at the other one it's probably way more because this one's a little bit slower find it blind yeah it's like a literally a second so you don't use these for damage you use them for pretty much speed um that being said they have a really good spread um but usually a spread is like 40 for dive bombers but these are 33 so it's very very compacted the issue is the area effect is very small so it's a trade-off it gets a smaller spread range but has a smaller area of effect so it pretty much cancels out overall but yeah that's pretty much how i would justify calling these dive bombers if you want to use them use them in speed scenarios which there isn't many only one as of right now so if you want to use comets for speed consider using the fairy firefly and that's pretty much it overall you're better off using a hell diver a gold or a purple one or if you have 10 rise or sky raiders much much better usage compared to just the fairy firefly these things are they don't really excel at anything neither speed nor damage they're just in the middle they're just there that's pretty much it so that's the gist of this gear for you guys thank you guys for watching as always hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching